What's going on, YouTube family? Hope you guys are having a great Monday morning. I'm back in the game with another video, and welcome back to my channel, NC Tough TV, baby. So, guys, let's just talk about the situation that happened over the weekend where you have this white chick who is upset with the way brothers are treating her, right? So, she decides to hopscotch her way down to Nipsey Hussle's memorial and arms herself with a few spray paint cans and decides to take out her frustration and anger on Nipsey Hussle's memorial and starts to spray paint over certain parts of the artwork. So without further ado, let's just go to the video and show you what she did. Shorty here saying niggas disrespect her and she here tagging all this shit. We just asked her nicely, don't touch his face. Like K-A-Y-K-Y. Yo, word of mother, like she came over here on some shit. She said, fuck everybody. Like, yeah, word of mother, my nigga. Look, like, look at this shit, my nigga. Like, she tagged this shit. This is crazy. Like, we just begged her, shorty, please don't tag. Like, my nigga, look at this shit, my nigga. Not the crazy. Not his face. Just don't do his face, my nigga. Just go do the other side. Don't do his face. Word of my mother, nigga, I ain't going to jail behind no crazy chick. These niggas on Facebook talking about some smacker. Nah, I can't even do it like nah, that. Nah, I'm not doing it like that, but clearly y'all see it. Hey, Word of yo, mother, my nigga, she said she. Huh? Up here, I'm trying to. Pay All right, so you've seen the disrespect, right? And it's unbelievable, but believable. But listen, let me take aim, not at the white girl actually, because I expect nothing more from some of her people. I'm just keeping it all the way 100, all right? I wanna take aim at the brother and sister that are recording the incident. So the one thing that stood out to me that was very, very baffling was the simple fact that the sister was giving this girl instructions on where she could spray paint and where she couldn't spray paint as if it was all right to spray paint over this man's memorial in the first place. <laughs> See, it's brothers and sisters like them that make it okay to other cultures to think that they can come within our race and use our slang and our lingo and disrespect us in the process because you don't have no backbone. And then the sister answered, to the person or the people on Facebook that was challenging her to do something was, I'm not going to jail over this crazy girl. The typical cop out, you know what I'm saying? When you know that you should be stopping a situation, you start to worry about yourself when in all actuality, you should be worried about the culture and making sure that you take a stand for your culture in that moment of time. But let it be a rift or a disagreement with one another within our culture, then we ready to go to bat. Then we have all that energy amongst one another to destroy each other. I just don't get some of our people. I really just don't get it. So family, this is a direct example in my opinion of how some of our people think within our culture. If it doesn't directly affect you, you really don't care about it. And in this particular case, for this sister to be giving her instructions on where she can spray paint lets you know that she really doesn't care about the situation. But when the people on Facebook was challenging her and telling her that they needed to do something about this girl, she said that she wasn't going to jail. Why? Because jail directly affects her. So she doesn't care what affects the culture. It's about what affects her. Let me say this. You can't go to any monument or statue being of the culture that we are in and try to violate and vandalize any of their statues without having an issue with some crazy person that's going to defend their heritage and defend their culture. But within our culture, it's okay because it's not directly affected me. So go ahead and do what you do just don't spray paint his face so let me reiterate this now i don't know if the sister and this girl has a relationship because the sister did call her by name
But anyway, this girl comes out to the memorial with you standing there. There's a brother. You can hear him in the background speaking while he's recording this actual footage. Even if you're not that type of sister or brother that has that energy, right, to confront her, you could have at least called the police. If you scared, say you scared. Call the police, do something about it. Don't be on camera and Facebook talking about, nah, we're not going to do that. We can't do that. But then you allow her to spray paint this man's memorial. So you're not with doing something to stop the situation. You egged on the situation by giving her the feeling that she could do it by telling her, just do it over here. Just do it over there. But just don't spray paint his face. Yo, I am, yo, my mind is blown. So, yo, within our culture, it just seems that we do two things when we feel disrespected by another culture, and that's march or stand there, all right? We either march or we just stand there. Nobody is promoting violence, but it's just really disheartening to see that this sister and this brother did nothing to try to stop this girl from doing what she did. Instead, they gave it life. They gave it support. And most of all, they gave it a platform. They gave it a platform. Fear is not in the DNA of our culture. Fear is not in the DNA of our culture. We are to love and respect everyone, no matter what your race is. But that doesn't mean that no race is subject to be checked when they are out of line for disrespecting our race. All right? Refrain from racist comments and things of that nature. But this young girl right here, she should have been checked. She should have been checked. But anyway, guys, I'm done with this. Drop down in the comments to let me know what you think about this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, share this video. And if you're new here, don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel and smash that notification bell to be notified of when I drop my next video. It's been real. Peace.